Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Nobody Plays Pokemon Legends Arceus. And now we're gonna probably fight Adamin again. Yep. And since we're going to new areas, a fuck ton of quests just came in. Jesus. Oh god, I, I want you. And Oh hey, she also wants him. And I still gotta complete you once that's done. And you. And also. And him. Okay, those are some quests. There are some quests I'm willing to do right now. Just because they add shit. Alright, nobody. Go, go run with me. Sure. Really? Make sure you watch closely now. Hmm. God, if there's one person I hate more than Adam is that fucker right there. I'm just gonna do air slash though. Why don't you do air slash? I just fucking bug buzz this shit. I kill instantly. Agile style. Oh no. Oh wow, you could you could potentially get another turn actually for that. I know quick back. But you really want to see something impressive? Strong style! Fuck buzz! I get money from battles. Unless I am, I just don't know it. I highly doubt that. You see how good nobody is now? Yes? No more sneering at him. <laughs> now, I think our helper from the Pearl Clan was going to meet you at the training grounds once you're ready. Chill it, nobody. Glad to have your help, as always. Really? Shift yourself unless you want to get even more of an earful than you're already due for. Oh, come on, Adamant. Cut me some slack here. Nobody. <clears throat> Join me in the cervical office. We'll go over the particulars of your new mission. Your survey work will take you to the Cornet Highlands next. You'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. The current rank qualifies you to conduct research in the Cornet Highlands. But you will need help from a particular person to serve an ultimate call this electrode. Go to the training grounds, you should find them there. Yeah, I was starting to get the hint that you actually have to raise your rank in order to continue the story, which since I'm rank 9, I'm, I can practically say I'm done with this. I can, I'm done and be finished with the story instantly. I don't think there were houses here originally. Jesus Christ, they're already fast. Time to for the battle sub. I mean, oh, okay, everyone already fucking knows who he is. Like the sprites already been ruined by now. It's not just his ancestor; it's him himself that's here. Somehow, one of the people from the battle subway magic. Ingo? I want to say. I think the other one's Emmett. I think that's the one with black hair. Hello, nobody. This gentleman is Warden Ingo. Yes, I remember correctly. Who serves Sneasler? He will guide you to her domain. Oh god, it is a her. Oh god, the internet was right. Oh god, all the fan art was true. <gasps> nice. Pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for that abrupt how do you do before. I am Warden Ingo. I understand you need a ha hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. I wish he'll fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. He really does the pose. Now, let's have a safe journey to Mount Cornet! All aboard! He goes a bit like you, you know? How so? He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Maybe traveling with you will help fill in some of those gaps in his memory. 
In any case, I'm glad to have your help to count one count once again, nobody. Good luck in the Highlands. Ooh, look at the other side of this place. Okay, good, it is him. I really wanted him. Basically, you need some sort of a um, uh, fighting type to break that shit, don't you? Also, my shit should be done, right? Really? Oh, interesting. Oh, something coming along on this side. Yeah, shit, there's already a house there. Several of that. Yeah, both the houses finished here. Interesting. Oh yeah, my little Alpha Pichu. Alpha Curlia. Alpha Toxic Croak. Yeah, I've got a lot of alphas. And now I can head to the middle here. I was hoping for maybe that one, but I guess Snowpoint and the Avalog are end game, huh? And since this is literally the final, this is literally the area where Mount Cornet is. Yes, the rift is literally right above us. My boy, welcome to the Cornet Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock type and ground type Pokemon wandering around these craggy boulder stone heights. And up there, right beneath that great rift in space time, is the peak of Mount Cornet itself. Magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the air. Fascinating stuff! Hold on, first off. And then second off, that's a fucking Probo Pass. It's a probable pass. That's a Clefairy. Hey, look, seals, and I'll just come here, right? Where do I need to go? Okay, over there. That's a, and that's probably my quest. Wayward Cave. Interesting. Wayward Cave. Interesting. Stone Portal. Stone Portal. Interesting. I want that. That's probably the... Anyway, up on word here. Fucking hell, you guys are still here? Uh, oh, I didn't hurt myself. Okay. Yanma's... The electrode known as Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I, I recall. But its electric discharges, at least, are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. It must be difficult being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as Electrode. Then becoming frenzy to boot. Such a tough old life for Pokemon and humans alike. Who is this? Oh, I'll see you. Oh well, what an Inga of the Pearl Clan. Oh my, the Galaxy Team Grunt from before. Yeah, I'm a Grunt. Nice. The punchy well above your way to seek out the great Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. But by the sheer tenderness in my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle you ever face awaits you right here. Battle me if you dare. Absolutely not. <laughs> well then, let me tell you the great Melly's take on the whole situation. Her friend, Frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of Almighty Sinnoh's favor and protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell that... Spell out that that's a good thing? We must let my lord Frenzy as it may. To demonstrate to Almighty Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan lives as it's right and good. 
this may be, dare I say it, the very reason I am here on this Earth! Oh, so this planet is still called Earth. Okay. What business is it of the galaxy teams anyway? What business is it of the galaxy teams anyway if Lutcher lets lose a few sparks out here in the mountains? Really, you should do us all a favor and slink back home to that village of yours rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage. What a selfish outlook. These frenzies cause the Pokemon themselves such suffering. But what is it you want to do, nobody? Press on! Fuck that guy! Very well. The tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself in a safe driving. To meet Sneasler, nobody, you must pass through here, Wayward Cave. Here you'll find Pokemon like Golbat and their ilk, which are quite at home navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch your step. How dim are we speaking? Fuck, an actual cave, holy shit! I was not expecting that. Outlines around people in caves still need some work, though. Oh, this is odd. The torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Will this be merely attempting to obs obstruct us? Either way, there's no need for uh, there's no need for concern. I know my route, and I'll conduct us safely. No darkness, no foul. Weather will delay us. Onward we roll. Take care, not uncomfortable for me. I recall a family that I had a partner once. A precious one. His name's escaped me, but I remember that it willed flames of mastery. It is only worth here. I'm sure it would light the way, luring us onward. Oh, are you talking about your chandelier? Please give the unscheduled stop. I detect an alpha crowbat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt his presence will obstruct someone so competent as you. But given the poor visibility, I propose a track change in, in the interest of safety. Please follow me. Take care not to come on a couple from me. I'm sorry to recall a man who looked like me. He battled and discussed lots of things. The words, I like winning more than anything else, crossed through my mind just now. <clears throat> I assume you're having a wayward cave's exit. Even if memories themselves have faded, it appears much still was in my heart. This is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Wait, those be the torches. Let me put those torches back where they belong. This darkness could be a perilous for the next person to pass through. I beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure! If you follow the track marked by torches, you'll reach the you'll reach the terminus Yeah, the terminus of this cave. Random alpha crowbat though. Really? Oh, if I'm actually able to ride this shit. Sne I want Sneasel to just to get it out of my way. I mean, I'll be able to climb mountains, but I, I don't really care. Not much things are up mountains. Most of the time. President Lavington told me you how you felt this land from the sky. For my part, I simply find myself one day here in history, a region whose name I had never heard of. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing there in, bef in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which is why I eventually became a warden. But still, I wonder what true purpose is here. Ah, oh, but now I've sidetracked with the. Uh, I checked us with this talk. 
Let's hurry on, Ward. Ooh, Heracross is not here. Yeah, are you aggressive? You are indeed very aggressive. Another parasite. Fuck you, I can get anywhere with a ward here. Ow. Hey, Eshim. Eshim? Oh, you're part of the galaxy team. I've, I've been waiting. I came here since I heard you all were planning to set up a camp. But it seems not much progress has been made since the bronzer is getting in the way. It's not religion, but it seems like it wants something, so we can't just ignore it either. Please, do you think you can find out what the Bronzer wants? Uh, I definitely want this one the most. Zor. There's something over that way? There's Golduck. Carnivines. Iron Chunk. Ah. Uh. Go away, Golducks. Zor. Zor! Zor. I saw Bonsor go flying off in this direction all of a sudden. What in the? That Bronzer! It's wounded! This is not good at all. Here, I'll fix it right up. Oh, thank God. I'm like, please don't have, say I have to use a potion. I don't have one. There. I should do it. Bronzer should be fit as a fiddle now. Zor! Zozor! See, the Bronzer, the new campsites, was looking for its friends. It was his friend the whole time. I'm glad you looked into, the, into it. Otherwise, you may have been too late to treat this Bronzor. This line is dangerous, even for the Pokemon that call it their home. It may be wise to be extra prepared as you explore this area. I'll be sure to keep a fine lineup of wear stock for you. So please, buy anything that you need. Ah, and it seems the base camp has been all but set up while we were talking. In which case, I should get settled in as well. So long! And that's the base camp. Thank God. And I realize I'm being watched, so I'm getting the fuck out of here. Later, fuckers! And jump. I guess don't jump, and I just line right into it. Oh, the bronze is just here now. Funny. Lonely spring. <laughs> Funny. Anyway. No, can't get around that. That's a motherfucking Lux Ray right there. That's an Ursa Ring. That's another Ursa Ring. That's another fucking Ursa Ring. What the fuck is this? That's a Bronzong. Iron Chunk. Iron Chunk. Bronzers are aggressive. Or they get startled and call for backup. I came from the other side of you fuckers. What's the big idea of putting back all those torches I spent ages tidying away? Do you get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh. I knew I came in pa impassable. Impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Hmm. Well, this just goes to show that even if we warnings don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in that cave and for the dark. But now you louds have put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let that. let you saunter ahead. To meet Lord Electro, you're sorely mistaken! The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. 
How are we proceeding, nobody? I'll beat him. Go, Skuntank! Show these laws the true meaning of silent but deadly! We have a Skuntank, of course we have a Skuntank. Hey, guess what? I have Earth Power! The only weakness. Oh, so we now level 40. But don't worry. I'll be grinding soon and thus. Oh, man. I'll be overpowered again. Listen here! Nothing. Neither I nor Skuntek admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will draw to afford Skuntek time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an, advi an advance, if you think about it. Keep your guard up, we'll be back. Man, I'm recording so long, the, v the heat coming out from my computer is actually causing this room to fucking swelter. Jesus. What a lively character. I can't fathom more than Melee's intentions, but for now, let us press on. Why are you just down here, though? This is where Sneasler is? Since Sneasler is here, does that mean I catch I catch Hisuian Sneasels? This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build a temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that we left behind should serve to cover us in the gaze of wild Pokemon. Oh, there you are, Ingo. Polo, was it? What is the matter, sir? I want to ask you about the memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could somehow be the cause of the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the rift is to the blame. But then again, I hardly remember a thing. It was difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home or my family, if I had any. So you might do better to pose your questions to nobody, I think. If it's a do with that rift. Indeed. Well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. How about you then, nobody? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of the rift? Was there anything inside? Maybe something? Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of the rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. You think so? Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that this same space-time rift also appeared in history in the distant past. That's why we already had a name for it as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose sketches out of the other side of the rift? Stretches, I think it said. My guess is that the almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then that begs the question, why has the space-time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would nobody have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure this would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I'm a mere admirer of ruins a little more. If something needs investigation, investigating, then I would... I trust that to ask nobody. Until, until next time, then. Ta ta. Oh, I don't even that voice. <clears throat> Once we're through here, it'll be just a little further. Let us move with speed, but not haste. Where are you now? Over there. Okay. Well, anyway, I have to call this an episode. It's getting really hot, and it's time for me to stop recording. So, see you on the next episode, everyone. Bye-bye.